16. In this case, ladies and gentlemen, we have a point f2, 9, and then we have a point e, negative 1, 6. And what I want us to do is find the midpoint, or I'm sorry, find the other end, end point if f is our midpoint. Correct? So a lot of times, guys, when I'm trying to understand what they're asking us to do for this problem, what I want to do is I, I'd like to be able to s sketch what this is looking like. So therefore, if I go to 2, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's point 2, comma 9. And then I also have the point negative 1, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, would everybody agree with how I have that set up? Yes. yes? I just plotted the two points. Now, what they said is, this is my point E, or I'm sorry, F, and that's my midpoint. Yes? Oh, E is the midpoint. Yeah. But the correct, those are correct, right? How I have them labeled? That's E and that, that's F? Right, are those the points though for E and F? Yeah. OK, all right, cool. So E is the midpoint. No problem. So ladies and gentlemen, what, so what does it mean though if it's the midpoint? Well, if that's the midpoint, that means here's an endpoint. That means the midpoint, there, there has to be another point, another endpoint, right? Because we find the midpoint of finding the middle between two points. Correct? So we need to be able to figure out what is this other point. So if we go back to the midpoint, um, first of all, we know that how do we find the midpoint? Or what would this, uh, how do we find the midpoint? So let's go back to the formula for midpoint. Formula for midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. That should be in your notes. Is that ring, ring true? Yes? Midpoint formula? Yeah. You want to change, change seats? Probably easier. Um, so therefore, does everybody agree? This, this is the midpoint for x. Here's the midpoint. Well, what is my y1 and x1? Right? I know the midpoint. So how did I get to those points? Well, we need to have some points here. So I can say, well, what if this is x1, y1? And then this would be x2, y2, right? Because if you take the mid, if you use the formula for this point and that point, you're going to obtain the midpoint right here. Does that kind of make a little sense? Yes? No? Yeah. Ask? Raise question? Good. OK. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to say, ladies and gentlemen, is what I said is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 equals my x1, which is negative 1 for my midpoint. And y1 plus y2 over 2 equals 6. Right? That's our midpoint. Our midpoint is a coordinate point, which is negative 1, 6. So this equals negative 1, and this equals 6. Well, how did we get to those points? Well, we don't know what x1 and y1 are. Right? That's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find x1 and y1. But we do know what x2 and y2 is. x2 is 2. And y2 is 9. So guess what? Now we have two equations that we have to solve. right? Now we need to say, well, oh crap, how do we solve these types of equations? And if you remember, if we have a fraction, what we always want to do is get rid of the fraction. right? So you multiply by 2 on both sides. Because 2 divided by 2 goes to 1. So therefore, here I'll just have x1 plus 2 equals a negative 2. And here I have um, y1 plus 9 equals 12. Well, subtract 2. I get x1 equals negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Subtract 9. y1 equals 3. 1, 2, 3. Pretty close. You guys see it? So therefore, my point, which I'm going to call d, has the coordinate points of x1, which is 4, 
and y1, which is 3. Anybody have any questions? No? OK, very good.